Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm really excited because I have a small business haul for you. I've been talking about this for weeks. I've been collecting items over the, like the last month. I'm just so happy we've all collectively decided to come together to support small businesses, especially during this time. But just to be more intentional with our purchases if we can. I am trying to be more intentional with purchasing from small businesses if I can, local businesses if I can. I'm sorry, the word business is literally not gonna sound like a real word by the end of this video. So I'm sorry, it's already starting to sound weird to me. But I am just excited. My dad is actually a small business owner. We have a small family business. It's Tiemann's Coffee. Those of you that follow me already know the vibes. I post my coffee every single day and tag them. Um, I drink the dark roast. It's just, it's, there's nothing better. I can't even tell you guys. It's smooth. It's low acid, so it doesn't cause any tummy issues if you guys even struggle with acid reflux, which is something I've noticed as I've gotten older. It's kind of been a problem with certain things. I um, mean, coffee, it does not affect it at all. So it's just fabulous. We just love that. So I'm going to link it below as well as the Instagram. So if you guys just like want more information, check it out there. Um, but it is nationwide at Sprout, so you can pick a bag up there if you guys have one near you and you can get on their website and a ton of other uh, little independent natural retailers. So if you guys want to check that out, just check out the site. They'll find a store near you if you have one or you can order online. So, so I had to mention that really quickly, but I'm really excited about this video. I do want to say before we get into it, if you guys own a small business or maybe your sister does, your brother does, your best friend, whoever, your husband, um, make sure you comment it below. Just leave it below so that we can all check it out and support if we can. Even if it's just a follow on Instagram, I would love to um, check you guys out. So make sure you put that below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the haul. I'm really excited about this. I'm in a good mood. I just love being in a good mood. Okay, let's go. Okay, first few items are a few purchases from Etsy. That's a great place to support small businesses. Most likely it's just someone in their house, in their apartment, just doing things that they love and shipping it out and just working so hard for you. So, and I'm trying to purchase more from there because there's so many good things on Etsy. I've just never really been an Etsy girl, but now I want to be. So here we are. Okay, first up, I have these plastic rings and I got them in a three pack from an Etsy shop called Soda and Rocks. It is ran by a girl named Rebecca and she's based in Florida. So I just wanna mention just where all these businesses are based when I talk about them just really quickly. Um, so that's just a little bit of background. Um, and they are so cute. She has so many cute rings. Like I literally couldn't decide. I had multiple in my cart. But I thought, you know, let me try them. Make sure they fit my fingers. I have like swollen knuckles all the time. Um, just, I don't know why this just, it happens to me all the time. So sometimes I can't get my rings on. And um, so we had to, you know, make sure first because they are one size. And they do kind of all fit slightly differently. Like I can wear them all on different fingers, which is nice. I don't like to get my rings all in one size because then it's like, you're restricted to only wearing them on one or two fingers that the ring fits. And I want a ring on my pinky ring. I want one on my index finger, my middle finger, like whatever, you know? So these are super cute. This is the colorway I went with and I'm definitely gonna order more because they were a great price and just so, so cute. This trend is like super love it or hate it. I don't know. I know some people don't like it, but I think it's so fun and not typically something I would gravitate towards, but I'm really just like loving all the fun, colorful, almost like just really youthful trends that are out right now for spring and summer. I just like, I'm not gonna be young forever. I might as well just like, you know, embrace it. So that's kind of my logic lately. Okay, next up is another ring and this is a style I had been looking for for a while. This is from P times H Jewelry on Etsy. Her name is Shero. I think I'm saying that correctly. So sorry if I mispronounce anyone's names or if you guys know the correct pronunciation, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. This is from Etsy, like I said, and she's based in LA. I'm actually gonna put it on now because I wanna wear it today, but I wanna show it to you guys first. So, oh, it's so cool. So I've been looking for a gold ring with like a black detail on it because I think it just stands out amongst all the gold I already wear. And it just has like a really cool vibe. Like maybe I found it at the Rose Bowl flea market or something like that. I think it just has a really cool energy and like, I don't know, I just really, really like it. And it was a really good price point too. And so far I've worn it a decent amount. I haven't worn it a ton because it is newer, but I'm really impressed with the quality for the price so far. Um, so that's really good to know. And it came in this really nice box too. And it got here really quick since I'm in California, she's based in LA. So um, that was nice, but moving on, I think I'm gonna do clothes next. Okay, speaking of color, I'm about to throw like a rainbow at you. If you guys watch my videos or follow me, you've seen this. I have already worn this a decent amount of times in this short, period that I've had it. I love this. It makes me so happy. So knit sweaters are really in right now. And like almost like, you know, your grandma knit this sweater kind of vibe. Um, and I really love it and colors in, like I mentioned. So I just went for it and I was a little bit like, I'm not really sure how this is going to look on me. Like it might be a bit too much, 
but when I got it, it looks so cute with like a pair of vintage Levi shorts. I'm sorry, I didn't even say the company. I got too excited about this. Let me, I'll get there. But the company that I have these two sweaters from is called Shop Rumors and she is from New Jersey. So back to what I was saying, she has so many cute items on the site. It's like a um, online boutique, very trendy, very cool, um, effortless style. I feel like on her website, she said like New York meets LA, uh, which is just a vibe, you know, so love that. Um, but I love this sweater so much. It's a bit cropped, not like cropped to the point where your stomach is showing, but not long and oversized, which I kind of prefer. This next one I have is a bit oversized, but I think more so for every day. Well, <laughs> imagine I wear this every single day. You know what I mean? It's just, it works better with a high-waisted pair of jeans or shorts. It just looks really cool with denim. I have actually shot in it. I have pictures on my Instagram and I have worn it in a video as well. So I just love this sweater. It makes me happy little serotonin booster so love that so much she said they're gonna restock in another color too so I'm probably gonna get it because it's just it looks really cute on and I just something about it, it's like special you know and then the next sweater is something you have probably seen on Pinterest if you have my Pinterest algorithm like this is like the Pinterest sweater I have seen this non-stop the past year they have it in so many different colors. I was like not sure where to buy it. And then I was just like pleasantly surprised when I saw it on her website. Um, and I have seen it in some other boutiques since then. Um, she does have it in multiple colors, but I just went for the green. Cause like, why not? Again, we are like loving color right now. It's so unlike me, but I'm just going for it, you know? So um, this I love, it's an oversized, like I think it's like a two size kind of sweater. So they have small, medium and the medium large. I went the small medium because I could tell it was already really oversized and I'm so glad I did. It's soft very comfortable I think I wore it with um, some biker shorts which was not really like my intention they just it was just what I was wearing that day and it looks pretty cute I wore some white biker shorts with it and some sneakers and that was really fun I do want to do like some um, black like um, flare kind of pants not really flare but like slight flare that's what I see on Pinterest all the time like almost a yoga pant kind of style um, with some sneakers and that's really really cool so I absolutely love this and I will definitely be purchasing from Shop Rumors again. I love it. Okay, next item is from a store called Shop Cozier. I wanna say it's Cozier, but it could just be Cozier, but I'm assuming it's Cozier just cause it sounds fancier. Like I literally could be wrong, I don't know. But that's what I'm going with. I think you could also call it Coz. It's probably Cozier, Cozy. I don't know you guys. So this is a company owned by Lainey Edwards. It's actually also a black owned business. She's based in LA. So another local business for me. Um, but she has these really cute little biker short sets. She does have some other like cozy items as well. Um, but I think this is what she's more so known for. And I went with the olive color. She has some really great nude tones. And I can't remember what else she had, but I really was torn between like the mocha kind of shade in this but um again I'm trying to do I would say this is a neutral but I was like I don't own anything like this so let's go for it and I wear biker shorts like it's literally my religion so I needed a new color because I don't have anything like this so just a little warning it does fit like a tad bit snug um just it's that kind of material that is difficult to get on and off but once it's on it fits really great so just a warning there um the band right here doesn't have like a ton of stretch like past that point and it just is kind of stiff but once you have it on they're really comfortable and they have like this little tag right here and everything's really form-fitting and it's super cute so i've already worn the shorts once this is the kind of thing that would be really cute for like a hike or just like running errands a day out like something like that you could throw a flannel over it a zip up or you could just put a t-shirt over it and wear this kind of as a bra because it is very form-fitting almost like a sports bra so i got a large in both of them too i'm pretty sure they don't have them on there but that's what I always get. So got a large and they're really cute. So shop Cozier, 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 Cozier. I don't know why I always make things sound like, try to make them sound fancier. Like <laughs> I eat these gluten-free cookies. I think they're a small business. So I might as well mention them. And um, they're called Sweet Lawrence. If you guys are gluten-free, I'm sure you've had them. But when I first got them, I would always call them Sweet Lorenz because of it's spelt differently than the typical way I would see Lawrence spelt. And I always just assumed it was that because it sounded fancier to me. And I was just like, oh, Sweet Lorenz. And then I saw that they're called Sweet Lawrence. So I was like, oh gosh, I don't know why. Why do I do that? I don't know, but 
Just a little fun fact about me. Moving on. <laughs> I actually have another set here from the next business. And this is from one of my favorite followers. She always messages me and always reaches out and just is so supportive. She's been following me for a while. Her name is Ellie and which is also my dog's name. I didn't even realize that's how you pronounce it. I thought her name was Elle for the longest time. Again, why do I just take creative liberties? I don't know. Um, but her name is Ellie and she's so sweet. She owns a business called Brave the Label and I think she is based in LA or Orange County, LA. Yeah, so she's based in LA and she has these really adorable tie-dye sets and they're really nice quality super thick and nice material um so i got the sweatshirt i think it's called the stormy sweatshirt and then also the stormy sweats they're really really cute so i have worn them together they look adorable um just like a really fun almost like i would do maybe airport outfit kind of vibes um but also just cute for like a casual day and you could dress it up with some sneakers and some gold jewelry um it's really cool like that um but also excited to wear these things on their own while it's getting a little bit warmer this would be cute to wear with biker shorts too so excited for that multi-use moment um, but I did also want to mention that she do I have my <laughs> I have all these notes written down in my little notebook like I'm literally a grandma I don't I don't know why I do this instead of just writing it in my phone but I always write things down so okay so 10% of all the purchases are donated to support mental health initiatives right now they're donating to the Loveland Foundation Therapy Fund it provides financial assistance to black women and girls nationally seeking therapy which is amazing and incredible and i did also want to say that everything is ethically sourced and sustainably packed so just a really great company all around owned by a really sweet amazing human so um i do have a code too let me just refer to my notes um it's just jamie 20 so if you guys i believe 20 yeah jamie 20 if you guys want to purchase anything and support percentage of your order will go to a good cause and you get a really cute little set out of it and you're supporting small so just wanted to mention that really quickly so that's the last of my clothes but i do have one swimsuit that i feel like Kind of falls into this category so here we go i have a swimsuit from monday swimwear it's owned by natasha oakley and devin brugman who i think are my girl crushes of life i have been just like a fan girl of devin for so many years and then now i've discovered natasha oakley who is just like a babe like i just die over them so they're absolutely stunning if you guys want to follow them and just I don't know i love them and they're really cool so they started this company it's based in la and they both have always like been you know in bikinis all the time on their instagram like they're always traveling and they just know what they're talking about in this kind of department i feel like and devin has a really full chest so i feel like that was also kind of the inspiration behind it i'm just spitballing here but um they really cater to so many different sizes and have a lot of support when it comes to a bathing suit because i know that's hard i don't have like a super large chest but I know that it's really difficult to find a swimsuit that fits properly and supports you and that you can like feel comfortable in I just know it's a struggle from what I've heard and I'm just so excited because I've been wanting a piece forever and I thought this would be a perfect time to pick one up for this video um, but I got this little top every piece comes in multiple colors so I think that's really cool like if you like the shape and the fit of one of the suits you can get it in different colors so I'm also kind of thinking about potentially getting this in black as well because I do really like the way this fits um, so this is like an animal print kind of style little front tie top and they obviously do have tops that have like um, more support I feel like I mean I saw them in this top and they looked really amazing but I do know they have like even tops with like underwire in them as well so um, I really love this and I did actually exchange one of the ones I got I'll show the bottoms in a minute sorry I did exchange one of the ones I picked up because I just didn't like the color on me so I am going to exchange it for something else so I'm thinking I'm going to get these bottoms in another color because these bottoms fit absolutely amazing so you can obviously mix and match because you buy everything separately um, so whatever top you're getting I highly recommend these like they fit so nice and I don't know what it is like you know sometimes you just find something that fits so good and just like flatters you in the exact right way because bathing suits are so tricky and it's your most vulnerable like being in a bathing suit out in public um so you really want something that you feel comfortable in and i really like this so these are a bit cheeky um i prefer cheeky they do come up a little bit high on the sides which is like the style right now so i really like that um and i just love these so much so they are a little bit higher in price point but i think that it's completely worth it if you can swing it i understand not everyone can buy an expensive swimsuit but i think buying a nicer swimsuit especially if you're in one all the time it's really so much more worth your money and a more sustainable option to purchase the nicer one that's going to last that you're going to feel really great in that's going to fit perfectly um so obviously if you can i understand not everyone can afford but if you are someone that buys a ton of swimsuits i think that you would absolutely love this and 
I just feel really good in it. So I'm really excited to wear this this summer, which is a new experience for me. You know, like who is like excited to wear a bathing suit? A lot of people probably are, but I'm not usually. So I'm excited to wear this one, but that is from Monday Swimwear. I'm gonna be picking up one more. I'll probably show it on my story or something. So make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram. I post so much stuff on there if you don't follow me already. So put that up on the screen somewhere. Okay, back to a few accessories. I have some sunglasses ooh, that I need to clean because I just wore them. I don't know, how do I always get my sunglasses so dirty? My boyfriend is probably laughing watching this because I am always like using his shirt to clean off my glasses. <laughs> like a thing I don't know why um all right so wow you can probably already see like what are those so these absolutely fabulous absolutely stunning I got them in two shades well shades no pun intended two different colors <laughs> different colorways whatever but this pair I got first these are like a beige kind of color and they have a blue tint on the glasses a very faint blue tint but these are really fun and then I just really like the shape I love how they look and I saw that they had an orange tint and if you guys are on Instagram or on Pinterest or anything you know these are so trendy right now this orange tint really in all different shapes aviators are really trendy the smaller like rectangle kind of size is really trendy um, but I really love these these are so cool so um, these are the same pair they're like about $50 and they're really nice quality so let me tell you about the business I'm sorry I'm getting carried away um, her name is Indy McFarlane she is based in Brooklyn New York but she's actually originally from Scotland so really cool and I was looking at all these names here and I think all of these are also women owned business it seems that way so that's pretty Pretty cool women owned small owned we absolutely love it so these are so nice and I actually have gotten a few questions about them on Instagram so I'm gonna link them below for you guys they're so fun and she's always so sweet she sends like a really nice handwritten note and just so appreciative of your business and that just makes it even better so that's from Indy I'll link them below for you guys okay next I just have one item from this brand I love you so much kind of my niece is actually the one that inspired me to pick this up because she wears this brand a ton it's owned by Liz Dutro she's based in LA and she seems really young herself and just really cool and cute um, she has a ton of like uh, hoodies and crew necks and t-shirts and totes a lot of hats if you guys didn't know, now you know the trucker hat style is back in. I was like kind of like mm, when they first came back because it reminds me of just like very early 2000s like trashy kind of vibes like when it first came out. But now I like just think they look so cool So I absolutely love. So I haven't worn this specific one yet. I'll put a picture of me wearing it. I'll take one. I don't want to take it right now because I'm going to ruin my makeup on my forehead. I think it's really cute. So. I love you so much kind of she has a ton of cute like it's like merch style everything's like very graphic-y and just like logos and just really really cool so I will probably be purchasing again because I like these little like brand names just like t-shirts hats like it's a good place to get things like this I do want more trucker hats from like little brands like this I think it's really cool so based in LA another local business for if you're in California um, but yeah really cute okay next up we have some skincare and this I'm really excited about because this is also a black owned business this is one that you guys recommended to me her name is Jamika Martin she's based in LA and the packaging is absolutely stunning so this is Rosen skincare and it's actually tailored all for acne prone skin which is what I have and the price point is incredible so it's just a really great brand all the way around you take a little quiz on the site and they kind of tailor a little system for you or just recommend products to you that they think you would like you can get a pack or you can just purchase individual things um but i absolutely love it so i've been using these for a while clearly i mean this one looks like it's been through the trenches it has like stains all over it but this is a toner i absolutely love a toner this one is for dark marks and dark spots that was one of the points that i mentioned when i was taking the quiz i do have some dark spots just from previous breakouts and um, I'm really liking this. It's like a really thick consistency compared to other toners that I've used in the past and I just really like it. Again, great price. Oh, so this is called the Tropics Toner. Sorry, didn't see that, but I really like the packaging. I'm like a sucker for that kind of stuff, which I know a lot of people are, but I'm a designer. So I notice this kind of stuff so often. I'm like, wow, it's like really cool, like very Gen Z kind of style. Like I really like it. So um, the next thing that I got is this spray facial mist kind of thing. This is the Rose Water Face Dew, and I kind of just do this as the last step of my skincare. I kind of just like the act of it. I am just like obsessed with facial mist. Even with my makeup, I always get like a setting spray. I just love the way it feels when you put it on. It sets in your makeup. Just something very like 
relaxing about it, almost like spa-like. I love the smells and um, this one's really nice. A lot of the skincare ones have broken me out in the past, like the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray makes me break out and this one does not. They do mention that everything is clean and I really love that. I do wanna mention what was in the product. So this facial toner says hyaluronic acid, kojic acid, pineapple extract, hydrating toner to help fade scars and dark marks. And for the facial spray, it says rose water plus rose hip oil, hydrating mist for glowy skin. And the next up is the earth mask. I was needing a new mask in my life. I love to do a mask like, I would say maybe once a week, just because I feel like when you have acne prone skin, you've really got to like, clean it out as much as you can, do a mask that kind of detoxifies and dries things out if it can. Um, but I really like this one because it does not harden like an insane amount. Like sometimes they are so drying. I have normal to dry skin, I would say. And the masks in the past that I've used have been like just too much. Like you can't even move your face. And I know that makes it feel like it's really, really working and it might be, but it's just too harsh for me personally and like a little bit too exfoliating when you wash it off, it's like rock. <laughs> um, so this one just kind of stiffens a little bit, but not over the top. It's really easy to wash off. But the description of this one says Fuller's Earth Clay plus Zinc Oxide plus Eucalyptus, a moisturizing mask for active breakouts. So I actually didn't read that till right now. So I probably should only be reusing it when I have active breakouts, which since I've had it, I kind of have had active breakouts just because of like some hormonal things, but um, I will remember that. So that's good to know. Okay, last but not least for this video by any means, actually also a gift for my best friend that I will be seeing today. So it arrived right on time. Um, but this is MFC Studio owned by Maya Champion. She's from New York, but she's based in LA. All these are made in LA now. I have this absolutely stunning vase. It's like body vase. It's so gorgeous it's so obviously hand sculpted you can see like tiny little imperfections in it which i think was what makes it so beautiful um it's a nice like little curvy girl i absolutely love it and it has a little spot that you can put like a little branch or flowers or anything like that and i did purchase this to go with it this is the palo santo um, and it has like some little dried flowers in here that you can put in the vase and they look just gorgeous so i know my friend's gonna love this because she loves this kind of stuff she's like a very artistic crafty person so i know she will appreciate this but this is absolutely gorgeous to put like just on a shelf or like just like as a piece of decor it's stunning she has other body shapes and other options she, she even has like some other decor pieces not just bodies so if you guys are just interested in this like kind of clay handmade kind of thing you can check out her site so i think this makes a great gift i do believe she has a pregnant one so i think if you have a friend that's pregnant right now or a sister or even if you are and you just want to remember the moment that is a great gift as well, but also just great to buy for yourself because it's just stunning to have in your room or in your house, like wherever it's gorgeous, just a fun little piece to add. And I'm excited to see what my friend thinks about it because I know she's gonna like it. So um, yeah, that is everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun talking about all these. I just love the personability that comes with a small business, like just seeing where it's made, seeing the name of who owns it and who's crafting all these things for you, shipping everything out. Um, because with the big companies, like I know it's convenience and I, I purchase from them all the time. It's just, you don't get that same experience and there's just something really special about it. So happy to be supporting all these companies and I'll definitely be going back for more because I love everything and I know you guys will too. So everything will be linked below. Make sure you guys support. And again, don't forget to comment your business below or your friends, sisters, husbands, wives, whoever. Um, just leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe before you go. Before you go, make sure you subscribe. Do that now. I'm waiting. Okay, that was cheesy. All right, but I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.